I'm Karen White. And I'm John Bon. And this is ESPN 19. I was doing the intro this time, Karen. Not gonna lie, John, it felt good. Well, even an alpha Chad like me has to change with the times. They say ladies are strong, independent, and can go, go first in things other than doors. <laughs> Chivalry's dead, John, and progress is slow to my rich old husband's rascal scooter. And which husband is that? I honestly can't remember. Babe, what's your name again? He might be dead. <laughs> Tragic. Welcome again to ESPN 19, where you think you'd find coverage of bottom of the barrel sports like archery, ping pong, and golf. But you'd be wrong. So you dig further down past the bottom of the barrel, past the dirt, and straight down to the fiery pits of hell. That's where we are. That's right, John sports like snail racing and shows like what white guys do for fun. <laughs> I can't get enough of those pasty boys doing strange and dangerous things, usually ending up with irreparable harm to their genitalia. That's actually my favorite part. Same. Say, you're white, Karen. Do white women like yourself do anything strange at all? 911, what's mm. your emergency? Who are you talking to? No one. <laughs> Moving on. Because of lack of current sports entertainment, aside from watching marbles ro roll down admittedly fun tracks and watching sweaty nerds push buttons to kill cartoon characters, we here at ESPN 19 have turned to the internet. That's right, Karen. It's truly the worst place to find the next best thing in entertainment. But after not months, not weeks, but just days looking on the internet, we have found our broken crack hoe. That's right, John. We here at ESB19 are proud to announce the first annual meme tournament, where eight self-proclaimed meme aficionados with too much time on their hands come together to find out who is the dankest. And who wouldn't want to do that? Lots of people, John. Moving on to our eight contestants. As you can see, we've got quite the competition. Four genres versus four websites. It's anyone's game. That's right, Karen. It really is anyone's game. Our first match is between pure memes, which focuses on pure dankness, versus Facebook memes, which are just memes that are from Facebook. Let's meet the competitors. For pure memes, we have Furry Pepe 6969-9001. God, they sound like a child. What's good? I'm a full grown adult. Got it. And for our next contestant for Facebook, we have True Believer in the US. No faces. Oh, oh, hello. It is I, real American. I have come with the spiciest moments from the greatest country in the world. Yes, I mean America. I 100% agree with you there, True Believer. Now let's meet our judges for this competition. First up, we have Baby Yoda. And our next judge is Dancing Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> and our final judge, the one, the only, the big daddy of the big swamp, Shrek. For your information, there's a lot more to ogres than people think. What a fantastic panel of legendary meme characters. Now please send your memes. First, furry pepes. You know it, girl! Gross. When you're clapping some alien cheeks following the Area 51 raid and the alien hits you with a 460 glip glop interstellar Bose Mog Trog and you blow an entire nut. Oh boy. I hate it when that happens. Right, Karen? So right, John. Remember, always change your pants after being probed by a little green man. Let's see what True Believer has. This meme is in Russian. I can't read Russian, but I do love Snoop Dogg. I don't know about this one, John. Is the text in Russian? That is kind of strange that a meme from a true believer in the United States is putting out a meme in Russian. Care to respond, Facebook? What are you talking about? I'm 100% pure-grade American. Look at Snoopy Dogg. Everybody loves Snoopy Dogg. He's great American. Well, I do like Snoop Dogg. I'm convinced. Now let's see what the judges have to say. Well, 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 it looks like Facebook took this round on account of pure memes being a little bit too spicy. I like spice. Fun. 
our next matchup is between two true memes, which are just memes that are a little bit too real, versus Tumblr memes. For two true, we have Dr. Phil. Hello, I am Dr. Phil, no relation. And for Tumblr, we have a Tumblr content moderator. Hi, it's great to be here. Hmm. Hmm, indeed, John. Is there something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Don't worry about it. Moving on to our presentation, Dr. Phil, you're up first. Catch me inside with this prescient meme. Can we have $5 trillion? Ha ha, yes. Money printer go BR. Can we have universal health care? We can't afford basic necessities. Can you cancel student loan debt? Um, oops, printer broke. Wow, that is too real. Wait, Karen, do we have health care? Great question, John. Moving on, let's see what Tumblr has. Okay. You know, it's cheaper to build the computer yourself. This is surprisingly subpar, John. Yes, it's a bit boring. Care to explain Tumblr? Well, I wouldn't call it boring. Uh, at Tumblr, we try to keep our content SFW, so nothing too extreme or spicy, and definitely no female presenting nipples. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Karen. You know, after reading loads of literature, I am what you would call a feminist. Dear God. And I've learned through my extensive research that nipples aren't great. I see that's what you've learned? Yep, that's exactly what I learned. There's an easy way to keep you in the competition, Tumblr. All we have to do is go back in time when you were cool. So why don't we get our, uh, our resident time machine lords and uh, have that, can we do that? Yep, okay, all right, let's, let's do that. What's up, everyone? Um, here's what we have for you. When you get your blanket out of the dryer, is that gay porn? No, it's somebody after they get their blanket out of the dryer. Now that's what I call spicy. Karen, I think that's just porn. When you start to choke, but your uncle knows the Heimlich maneuver. When you accidentally choke on a pokeball. Okay, nope, nope, we're, we're done here. Mm. I kind of liked it. Now, Tumblr, do you believe you are so outwardly sexual in more kinks than is humanly possible to count because you were so sexually repressed? I think they're just sick fucks who like a quick fuck, Dr. Phil. And please don't psychoanalyze anyone else on the show. That's right, Karen. It's truly disturbing. Judges? Oh, that's a shame. Too bad for 2017 Tumblr who lost again due to being too spicy. There's no such thing as too spicy. I see what you're putting down, Shrek. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next bout, we have wholesome memes versus Reddit. I'm gonna say that again. All of Reddit. Sounds fun. For wholesome memes, we have Mrs. Dankfire. Oh, hi there. I'm Mrs. Dankfire, but all my students call me Mrs. Darcy. But Dankfire is a fun pun on the loving Mrs. Doubtfire. Wow, Mrs. Darcy, that's actually pretty nice. It's almost like you're a calm, kind, and considerate person on the internet. That's actually kind of incredible. Wow. Okay. Moving on to Reddit. We couldn't find a singular person to represent the entire community because it's so large. And there were so many people that applied for the position that it literally crashed all of our computers. I finally got a new computer out of it. Thank you, Reddit. Well, we did get one person and see for yourself. Uh, uh. Spooky. So Mrs. Darcy, what do you have for us? Oh, this is a good one. My students love it. She attack, but it's okay. It's a love attack. Mm. 
that's so beautiful. John, are you crying? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not crying. <laughs> okay. That meme was great, Mrs. Darcy. Dogs are truly man's and, and women's best friend. You're welcome, Karen. And we're back. Thank you, John. Moving on to Reddit, what do you have for us? This meme takes too long to read. I refuse. Oof, I don't know whether to laugh, scream, or burn my eyes out with bleach. John? How do you, how do you get down there? Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Likewise, Karen, I believe that this particular meme is from the subreddit r slash red pill, which is really just a bunch of lonely men circle jerking pure nonsense. I got this feminism thing down. Sure, John. Let's see what the judges have to say. I thought the same. We're letting Reddit move on in order to preserve Mrs. Darcy's pure soul. It was obviously Shrek's idea. <clears throat> Be free, Mrs. Darcy. Spread your joy to all the children in the world. Take me with you. Aw, you're all too kind. Have a great day and good luck to everyone. There she goes. On to the final match of the first round. It is dead memes versus Twitter memes. That's right, Karen. For dead memes, we have actual death. <sighs> Actual death, are you there? Mm, ah, 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 yes, it is I, death, the consuming force of all mortal souls throughout space and time. I also get memes down here, so that keeps me pretty entertained. Another scary dark man. And for Twitter, we have several comedians who have nothing better to do. First up, the very famous Joe Brogan. Hey, everybody. Joe Brogan in the building. Chiller than a freezer because I'm smoking all kinds of things. Have either of you done DMT? It'll change. Okay, okay, sure. We got it. We'll buy that later. Let's get this thing going, Death. What do you got? I've got something that will truly kill you. At least that's, um, that's what Osiris tells me. He hasn't responded yet. It's, uh, I feel pretty bad. It's, Mm, nope, nope. Mm, maybe it's bad signal. I uh, oh, that 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 kind of blows. Dicks out for Harambe. Truly dead. Funny, but dead. Joe, do you have a response? No sweat. I'm a jujitsu this. Just like I grew back my hair through the power of jujitsu. The wheel is turning, but the hamster is dead. Wait, no, no, this one. Everyone, play along. Candidate Juan Bahama just announced his 2020 presidential bid. Wait, no, no, no. Something new happened. The computer made this one. Me. My childhood problem. The coronavirus. Me. My concerns and control. Oh, oh, wait. There, there's a new... Hold on there, Joe. That's simply too many memes. And because the rules state that you can only choose one meme per round, we sadly have to disqualify you. I don't care about this anyway. I'm going to go out to the desert and take a nap on my yacht filled with money. You guys should totally try this new CBD tablets that my friend made. You'll love them, man. They'll change. Oh, no. We lost him. Wonder how that happened. Well, I'll have you know that that is very ageist. And I met her in one of these feminism book clubs. They're very interesting. Uh, and John, did you go to the feminist book club hoping to pick up a 23-year-old? Well, I certainly went into the store and saw the feminist book club. And then I got distracted by a cover of Cosmo. And I figured that's pretty close to what feminism is. So I thought it was a good, like, merging point. Like, I thought it would start at Cosmo and then move on. And she kind of caught me there. 
Was she the receptionist? Yes. Okay. Was it my fault? No. Yeah. Bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs> There's more. Uh, all of Reddit. All of Reddit. <laughs> all of Reddit. All of Reddit. Every single. Everything. <laughs>